Here's another really cool funk saxophone lick from Candy Delfer. In a previous video, I showed you a funk saxophone lick from Candy Delfer's live version of the Average White Band song, Pick Up the Pieces. Now, I'll put my previous video link as well as her performance link in the description below. In this video, I want to share another funk saxophone lick that she plays from that same performance. Hi, I'm Donna from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com, and if you want more tips to bring your playing up to that next level and licks to sound like a pro, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified when new videos are out. Now this lick is in the same section where she's improvising over all 12 keys, and she's creating great lines that are rhythmic, meaning that she's varying her use of rhythms, and she's locked in with that rhythm section at all times. Now this particular lick is over a concert F7 chord. That's alto sax D7, and tenor sax G7. And this lick appears around 10 minutes and two seconds into the video. Here's the lick again. Now it starts off with a jump of a sixth going down. This is still somewhat in the beginning part of her solo where she starts in the lowest register of the alto saxophone. And she builds up the keys chromatically from there. Now, just like in my previous video, this lick is in a really low register. So if you have any leaks in your, you know, your low key pads and the bell keys, or honestly anywhere in your horn, you're probably gonna have some difficulty playing this. So to learn this now, Play the lick up the octave, but be sure to get your instrument fixed. Now, this lick does not use a pentatonic scale. It outlines the chord tones of that dominant seventh chord I mentioned before, except for one note. And that one note is played on a strong beat, and it makes the lick sound, honestly, it sounds really cool. Now, that note is the fourth, the taboo note that we're supposed to avoid, right? Well, in this case, even though she's playing that fourth scale degree on a downbeat, she immediately resolves it to the third. Listen again to the lick. Like in my previous video, this lick also consists of a short motif that's essentially repeated, but the second time it ends on the lowered seventh. Now remember, she's not lowering that third. It's still the major third because she's outlining the chord. You could play this lick over any dominant seventh chord in rock, funk, yeah, maybe some blues styles too. You may have to change it up a little bit. But try to learn this lick in as many keys as you possibly can. And don't forget, set that metronome up and keep subdividing 16 so you could lock in the timing with this lick and with any other funk licks that you want to play. Want more cool licks like this? Well, people that support my YouTube channel get access to many licks, PDFs, and video lessons not seen anywhere else. And for this lick, they're also getting access to the backing track I use to play it. So head on over to patreon.com slash Donna Schwartz Music to get access. Hey, thanks so much for joining me. On that note, take care. Have a great day.